So before I get into how my mom scammed me, I, I gotta update you guys on everything that's been going on the past two weeks. I didn't know I didn't know so much could go on in just two weeks, but I guess it can. I don't even know where to get started. My camera thinks my lens keeps falling off the camera base itself and keeps wanting to shut the, the video recording off, which sucks, but okay. Again, it's another impromptu video. Don't know where to start, but hey, I'm here documenting the journey. Y'all know that. And let's just, let's get right into it, you know? So I don't want to make this video as long as I did prior. I know, I know my buddy Aaron there. I know you're watching this. I know you like the lawn videos. You just like the, you know, the the open, raw, transparent, honest Hayden. I like that version of me too. And I'm going to keep it as open, transparent, honest as I can. <laughs> but I do want to kind of cut it short. It's like 10 o'clock at night here. I want to get to bed at a decent time. And I want to watch some more uh, episodes. Or at least finish the episode that I was on. On the current show that I'm watching on Netflix. That being Suits. And talking about Suits, oh my gosh. So, you guys know I am a mortgage agent and do my online business on the side for now. But, you know, both can be kind of part-time. Both can really be full-time because my online business, I'm able to be free with it, create the freedom with it. And it's also automated, so it's running in the background while I'm working on, you know, my mortgage agent career as well. So... It's pretty wicked, it's pretty awesome, and uh, it's just something that I want everybody to check out. And of course, you you have the best products in the world, the best products for your health, and that's all I can say. Go watch the video to learn more. <laughs> the link will be down below in the description. Go check it out if you're curious, go check it out if you're interested. Anyways, back to suits, alright? Within my mortgage career so far, I've been, you know, through... Uh, the onboarding process. I've been with one trainer who was cool. It's just location. She worked kind of at a different office. I wanted to be with somebody that was at an office and that was always there and I could always go in and shadow. Um, so I ended up uh, actually being able to switch to be under this one guy that works at you know the local office. He's like always there. He's actually on vacation all of this December month. So I'm pretty much working from home until I absolutely have to be in the office for anything. And then I'll, you know, get my ass to the office <laughs> for that. But um, switching to this guy has been insane. All right. It's like last week I shadowed him. I was there shadowing him. I was working on deals for him, working on my own deal, which is just about to get done, uh, closing mid uh, December here and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited like I, it's my first deal most mortgage agents don't even have the first deal until six months in I'm just shy to at least four months into my journey here in the mortgage industry and I'm about to close my first deal which is amazing um anyways just being at the office every single day getting my ass you know out of the house to the office shadowing Richard, that's my trainer. It's been a phenomenal feeling. And like, it's, I feel, watching Suits, I feel like I'm Mike Ross and he's Harvey. And it's just so funny to, you know, kind of correlate and be like, whoa, kind of living this life right now, man. Like, I'm not like a fake or a fraudulent mortgage agent. I am licensed. But at the same point, I feel like I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But the week that I spent with him training, I feel like I know my stuff, not like 100% of course, I'm so new into this, but I'm getting better with it, I'm getting better with my conversations, I'm getting better uh, communicating, I'm getting better with just picking up the damn phone and calling somebody to ensure that I am understanding what I am reading, what I am doing, the, num uh, the uh, data that I'm inputting into an application. It's really just all about picking up a phone and asking a question and getting the answer to it and getting clarification on it and, you know, asking for things. So, if you're able right now 
if you're not in, let's say, real estate, if you're not in the mortgage industry, if you're not in, let's say, you know, affiliate marketing, network marketing space, if you don't have a vehicle right now, try to find it. Try to find something. Start up a service. Start up an online business that gives you some type of vehicle where you're able to pick up the phone and make a sale and do a deal. Cause I'm like, I was talking about this, you know, with my buddy Ali. I was talking about this, I went out for coffee with him the other day. We were talking when he was driving me back home, right? I was like, yo, so many people can can make money just from picking up the phone and making a simple phone call. Yet no one wants to do it. But it's not necessarily that no one wants to do it. It's that no one's found that right opportunity yet. No one's found that right vehicle yet to be able to be able to hop on a call and close out a sale, get that person started in something where then they're able to then help that person get other people started. Like something like that or if it if it's like real estate or mortgage you know industry you know call up somebody get a deal going on where you're able to help somebody get into a house or out of a house and into another one or whatever the living situation is and you're making a bit of a commission you know of course you know in the mortgage um, industry you're making a commission off of the mortgage amount as a real estate agent you're making a commission off of the sale of the house so you know what I mean like find that vehicle for yourself where you're able to make money from picking up the phone building relationships networking and helping people out serving people I'm telling you this if you can find that opportunity and I have that opportunity to provide to you guys to check out to see if it is for you. Check the link down below in the description, as I said. If you can find that opportunity for yourself, I'm telling you this, you will be set up and you're golden for life. I'm already rambling on and I hate to do this, uh, but you know, I wanted to update you guys on everything, right? And just my mind is rolling, my mind is racing, kind of getting stuff off my chest. Like last week was just go, 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 go. I was in the office by at least 10 every day. I'd be back home by like 6 p.m. every day. Went out for like two lunches with the team. Well, one with the team and one with uh, some business partners of Richard's. And, you know, my trainer. It's just... It's nuts, dude. Like, it's a lot. <laughs> it was a lot, a lot of stuff. And like my brain was fried. I felt like I had no time to work on my online business. I feel like I'm out of my online business. I actually just had like, you know, my our weekly team call. I just hopped off before, you know, hopping on here. And it's just like, I just feel so disconnected from the online business space right now and I'm like I gotta go post a co some content on Instagram or post you know getting this YouTube video going so posting this like I just gotta get something going <laughs> to kind of get back into that but I've also been really focusing on closing this deal of mine you know in the in my mortgage career um, and that's kind of been taking up a lot of my brain energy because there's a lot a lot a lot to it don't get me wrong it's not fucking easy it's hard as hell but it's work that I am capable of doing I know that I can do and I know that I can crush it at and help a lot of people along the way you know get into homes or you know refinance uh, get you know uh, home equity line of credits going you know just getting that financing going pulling from their credit refinancing switching whatever the case is whatever they need I'm gonna help them, right? And that's just, that just goes back into, you know, my vision of things is helping as many people as I can in any aspect of their life. Anyways, okay, so that's one thing. Yes, I'm watching Suits on Netflix right now. I think I'm on like season six. 
I kind of feel like I'm living that life right now. <laughs> um, I'll get to my mom's scammy story in a, in a sec here. Look at this right here. I got all this vinyl. Right? I'm going through this box right now and this box after. And then I got some 45s right there. Which I have to all go through. So this lady at the office uh, that works, you know, with me with mortgages, she's like, hey, I got a bunch of vinyl. It's just sitting around. I'm trying to sell it. I can't sell it. No one wants it. Who wants it? So I'm like, yo, I love vinyl. I love I love anything. I really love like things that are vintage. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's something about that time, like listening to the music of like you know the olden times it's like people really sat down and had conversations because they didn't have things like our cell phones to distract themselves with and it's just like I don't see that nowadays not a lot of people actually sit down and can have an open conversation with each other without being distracted by something or being very short um, like a short attention span in that conversation where the conversation only lasts less than five minutes and then you're on to something else. Now, this record player right here, this turntable that I was listening to the vinyl on, I don't know what it was, it started sounding really weird when I, when I was you know spinning and then it started to, it started to burn, this burn smell and I was like what's going on? So take took the disc off, I kind of opened it up Sure enough, the band, first of all, the band that spins was off, but the motor itself, regardless, was just smoking. So I'm like, okay, maybe maybe this turntable is finally kaput. It's, uh, it's trash, and I uh, gotta get a new one. So I ended up getting a new one, which you guys can see right here. Can't really see it too too well, but let me see if I can. As you yeah, as you can tell, I got the uh, Netflix going, waiting to watch some more uh, suits there. But I got this bad boy. Speakers are loud as heck too. Like right now, I I have it on like the lowest volume it can be, pretty much, and it's blasting. But it's a sexy turntable let me tell you that i think i just realized that i i'm always staring at the viewfinder and not at you guys so i'm sorry that i continuously do that it's just i always like to make sure that the video is recording and i look pretty you know anyways because i'm a pretty motherfucker anyways um dude <clears throat> all right so i got that 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 <laughs> records all right getting on to the story of how my mama scammed me all right it's not like bad it's not anything bad it's a really funny story it's a really 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 funny story so early October I don't think I saw this until a few weeks after but early October there's a few charges on my card from Amazon and um, I, see, I see these charges, and just for some context, it happened a few days, I think like the next day, after I was at a Kitchener Rangers game, which is Ontario Hockey League. That's our local team here, Kitchener Rangers. So I was at a Kitchener Rangers game, and I think the ne within the next day or two, I had a few charges come in from Amazon on my debit card. And I was like, huh, I don't really have an Amazon account. I technically do, but I don't have my card on there. So somebody, my initial thought was somebody must have scanned my card at the Rangers game. Because I had my card in my pocket and it wasn't in a wallet or it wasn't in, you know, one of those um, protectors. So anyone could have just walked through with a scanner and scanned my card. It's happened before. So my brain goes, that's the first thing that my brain goes to. Oh, somebody scanned my card. Let me go and dispute those charges. I call up my bank. And 
I dispute the charges. Easy peasy, disputes occurred. I got credit back for the charges. It was like $84 total, right? Three charges, $84 total. I got the credits back and then a few weeks later, they took the money back out of my account. That's why I'm talking about it now because I thought it was good for a few weeks, right? Or was it early November? I'm like, October, it's already December. Wait, was it early October? I don't know, whenever I went to the Rangers game. So it's either early October or early November that I was taken out. Um, you know, had the credits in my account for two to three weeks or something. And then I see that the amount is again taken out of my account. Um, but they just kind of like pulled that credit. They they basically gave me the provisional credit and then took it back, right? Which that sucks. No one likes that. That means there was something that happened in the investigation of that dispute that stated that you were the one that made the purchase. Right? Understandable? Yes, right? So, I'm like, hey, like what the heck happened, right? I call the bank back. Don't tell me, tell, tell me why, tell me why it took me two hours, almost three, over the span of two days to reach the right department that actually was able to tell me what the hell went on with this investigation from the dispute that I had. And the what the investigation had resulted in was what they found was more charges from Amazon on that exact same card back in May. I'm thinking to myself, whoa, I did not see these charges at all. I don't remember these charges at all. One for $214 and then three others. So seven charges altogether, four in May, three in October or November. I'm a little brain dead from everything that I do because I do so damn much, but it feels like I don't do shit. Anyways, <laughs> this deal I'm doing with the mortgage stuff, guys, is just brain, it has me brain fried because it's a lot. It's a lot of documents, it's a lot of compliance, it's a lot of stuff, but I'm getting it done. Um, anyways. $340 total, $340 around there, total, that's been taken out of my account. Four charges in May, three in October or November, whatever the case is, right? I'm like, whoa, what's going on? I need to dispute those. They're like, sorry, we can't dispute those ones in May because they're over 120 days old. I'm like, you mother at first, but I get it. I worked at a bank, I understand the policies and procedures and stuff, but still, F you guys. So, I then go to Amazon. I go, hey, I had a card. It's not on this account, so you can't find it. Yet, they were still trying to find that card on the account that I was chatting in from. Uff trying to explain it to them but they just don't understand and I couldn't reach them on the phone so I had to chat in so they're able to kind of locate stuff I was able to provide them with the you know transaction ID numbers from the bank for each transaction each of the seven right so they were able to find the charges and they're like yep it was this card ending in blah 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 Nope, only four blahs, sorry. See, brain dead, fried, whatever you want to say. Fuck it, hell. Anyways, um, what's gone on in the past two weeks? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Hey, if, uh, if Clayton's watching right now, I've been watching Clayton's videos, had a recent video of, like, bad luck. Clayton, this has been some of my bad luck lately, all right? So... You're not the only one, brother. All right. <laughs> um, all right, all right. 
so Amazon, they go, oh yeah, uh, well, we can't see, we can't go into that account because it's locked, it's on hold, it's locked. Um, pending investigation, I guess. We can't go into that account, unfortunately, we can't tell you what was ordered, what the charges were, where it was ordered to, what the name on the account is. Sorry, we can't tell you that. Tell me this. The next day, I was up here in my room, I walked downstairs, and my mom, my mom is getting off the phone with Amazon, saying, why is my account locked? Why is my account on hold? I said, mom, don't tell me the last four digits of the card that was used was blah, 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 blah. And she goes, son, the last four digits on my card that were, that on the card that was used on this account was blah, 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 blah. They were my card digits. The last four digits was my card. And because I messaged into Amazon, I got my mom's account locked out and on hold. So then I had to re-chat back in with Amazon. I said, hey, I made a grave mistake. Can you unlock my mama's account? That was my card on her account. We just figured it out. I don't know. That was like, I don't know, last week. And I don't know if her account is unlocked yet. Oh, yeah, just just shy of a week ago. I don't even know if her account is unlocked yet. I gotta ask her, but she's not the one to like check on that, you know. But like, she had a few orders coming in. I guess you know for like Christmas. She had a few orders coming in from like Christmas presents and stuff, and now those are on hold because I locked her account. <laughs> but like, you know, I. I, I just like how things played out of how I saw the charges in my bank. I just, I didn't correlate in my brain to go and ask my mom, the one that uses Amazon the most, other than my grandmother, to say, hey, like, can you go back and see on, on these dates, like, if there's anything ordered for this amount? Because, like, as soon as I realized it was my mom, my mom's account that my that my card would you know that the charges were coming off that debit card. You know everything kind of clicked, at least the two hundred fourteen dollar charge. I was like, oh, damn, I might have bought something then. You know, you know. So my daughter Aria, right? She had this Amazon Fire tablet that she was playing around, absolutely loved it. Then randomly picked it up one day and the screen was cracked. This one's cracked down the middle. I'm like, well, it's still playable, but I don't like it's, you know, I don't want her playing with a scratched screen. So I bought her a new one. Guess when? In May. But the other charges did not recognize. But of course, my mom can't go into her account because it's locked to check on to see what those charges were. So, I guess you can say she she technically scammed me, but it's also my fault because I went on, put my card on to order it and get Amazon Prime because my mom was an Amazon Prime, you know, membership holder. And I guess I forgot to take my card off and it started to charge it, I guess, you know, four, three more times in May and then randomly three times in like October. I don't get that, but hey, maybe her card was expired or you know she's the type to kind of lose her cards here and there and have to call it and get new ones so maybe it was a card that she needed to replace and the you know other default card was my card um, when they tried to charge that one so maybe that was the case I'm not sure but I'm out like uh, uh, at least a hundred <laughs> So, so uh, you know, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still holding my mom accountable. I said, "Hey, mama, you owe me that, Hannah." You know, and um, yeah, it's just a joke now. Whatever. I really don't give a shit about that money. Whatever. 
I've since, you know, canceled out that debit card. I have a new one. It's all set. I'll get to go. But, like, it's just so freaking funny to me that I went through the whole hassle of disputing with the bank, having to then contact Amazon to be like, hey, you need to do something about this. Check into it. All right, cool. We have the account locked. Oh, thank you guys so much, so much, so much. Then I walked down the stairs and my mom's going, why is my account locked? I, I knew right away. I was like, no way. Did I do this to your... Sure enough, I did. Sure as shit. Holy... Nope. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So my, my mom's here like, I don't want to shop with Amazon again. I'm like, well, mom, that was kind of my fault. Sorry, mama. But, like, still, you kind of still scam me. So, you owe me that money. You owe me that hunter. Anyways, that's, that's, my, that's, my, that's my story of how my mama scammed me. Um, have you guys ever been through any situation like that um, with any merchant? Even if it wasn't Amazon, most likely it was Amazon. But has anything like that happened with you guys? Let me know in the comments. Of course, check out the description. Go watch a masterclass video. I promise you guys. You guys don't want to miss what I have to offer. And on top of that, if you do end up joining the opportunity, I will be your mentor and coach and help you build your business. And I'm so excited to get that going. I'm so excited to grow my movement. I've started a movement within the company, within the online space. I call it We Who Prosper Movement, WWPM. And I'm just so excited to build that further and get that going. Honestly, I'm still not even my first sale yet. Just have my sales. I have my, I have my buddy. He's on the verge. He's on the verge of going in. He's on the verge of starting on at least one product. I said, buddy, I don't care how you start. I don't care how much money I'm making from the commissions off of that sale. What I care about is that you get started. Why? Because you told me that you're going to get started. You have the vision that you're going to get started. You have the vision already in place of what you want this business to do for your life. You've gone through this. We've hopped on many calls. You know you what you want to do. You know you want this. We just need to get you going. We just need to get you started. And we'll figure it out both along the way for you. What works for you what works for you to build your business that feels the right way for you, right? And I'm, that's where I'm there for, right? I'm not like gonna push people to, to go in on two products if they don't have the financing, three products even, four. Four is the best way to start, like I said, but some people just don't have the financing for that right away, and I totally, totally grasp that. I understand that. I'm not there to push for that. I'm just there to ensure that they own up to their word on getting started when they said they would. Because trust. Being able to go through the information and be like, damn, this opportunity is for me. That's all that counts. That's all that matters. But then the, what matters the most after that is just getting started. Because too many times, I see too many times in people's lives where they come across something. Or they really have, want to do something. They have a dream in life. They have a goal in life. They're like hyped to get it started. And then one little thing shuts them off. That could be finances. That could be a step that they didn't think was there. That they need to take. That they just don't think that they can do. Or they go talk to somebody about it. And that somebody shuts them down from that dream. But it's not necessarily that they don't think that you can do it. It's they don't think that they can do it. People based what they think you can do based on what they can't do. Do you understand that? You understand that? When somebody says, oh, I don't, how are you going to do this? It's not how are you going to do it. It's how are they? That's what they're thinking in their head. If I, I, I don't think I can do this. So I don't think you can do this. I don't think you can do this, uh, George. I don't think. I don't think I, I'm, I'm not the pipe. I'm not the type of person to do this. So I don't. I don't think you're the type of person to do this, Susan. You know, it's 
don't let other people's opinions stop you from getting started and living the life that you've always dreamed of living, that you've always dreamt of living. All right? So go out there. Go for it. Get that thing started. Get that shit done. And let's fucking prosper together, all right? I love you all so much. Thank you so much for hopefully watching this whole video. If you want to see anything more from me, yeah, let me know down in the comments. If you have a certain topic you want me to talk about, I'm kind of like an open book with everything, as transparent and open and honest as possible, like I said, with all of this, all right? So if you want to hear something from me, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to keep updating you guys every single other week. Every two weeks, I'll be coming out with a video um, unless there's some type of holiday or I'm with my daughter and I'm just too busy to post that week. I'm going to absolutely try my best to do that though every other week to post. I'm going to absolutely try my best to stay consistent with that schedule. Um, and yeah, anyways, I have nothing further to add, nothing further to ramble on or rant about. So, you all enjoy your day, evening, night, whatever time it is over there. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace out.